I'm going to salt this cheese by soaking it in salty brine. All I did was I added enough whey into the pot and I then added enough salt that it made the cheese float. You can see the cheese floating here. That's called a 20% brine. So if you had 1,000 grams of whey, you'd put in 200 grams of salt. But you don't have to measure it. You can just keep adding salt until the cheese pops up. Then I'll sprinkle salt over the top. And this is actually just to keep the top of the cheese moist. The, the salt will soak up whey. Okay, here we go. And halfway through the time, I will turn the cheese over. Normally, I'd use a plastic or glass container because salt will corrode stainless steel, but this is an alpine cheese, Comte, and I'm only going to be brining it for an hour. We use whey, preferably, instead of water. Whey is acidic enough that it will not pull calcium out of the cheese. Whey also contains enough calcium already that, again, the whey will not pull calcium out of the cheese. If you only have water, then you would add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of calcium chloride to the water along with the salt. And if you want all the instructions for that in my successful cheese making, here are the pages that where I talk about how to brine your cheese. And my successful cheese making two volume set is available at my website successfulcheesemaking.com along with cheese making classes. So I hope you liked my video. Please like it, add comments or questions, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.